is just fantastic. Captain's Log, Subdates 210303.5. Crewman Bork will be returning to active duty next week, which is rather handy, as the power couplings on all decks need a thorough scrubbing, and I want him to use his toothbrush on them. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. On a Discord server where I do all of my YouTube work, I have a tab solely dedicated to Twitch, who over the last year especially have cocked up quite a few times. Now some of this could be attributed to those that use their sites, begging for subscribers. Amanda Cerny was one I could remember, along with a Poe, I believe. Nikoko? Nicola? Doesn't matter. There are people that misuse the site, beg it, act like idiots. It could be Twitch's own terms of service that mean that if you are guilty of committing a crime or doing something wrong on another site, wrong think essentially, they will ban you. The arbitrary suspensions, or the fact that the booby streamers are still around even though some of them have fed their cat vodka. Yeah, no hypocrisy here. It just tells us Bezos is a boob man. More recently, Twitch has gotten into trouble with the trans community because they decided to use certain language that has, in effect, made those that are trans feel invalidated. And there's a point to it. We'll get to it soon. I had originally gone looking for the original tweet, because I forgot it existed, until I saw a BBC article this morning and realised, oh whoa, even the BBC are calling you out. Maybe I should address this. So I went and looked on Twitch's, um, well, Twitter. The tweet's not there anymore, it's deleted. That would include the video and the link on the tweet. So I'm instead using an image derived from Count Dankula's Twitter. It was going to be the quarterings, but I know he's done a video on this. And I don't want to watch his video and end up more from a sense of intellectual honesty, regurgitating his points verbatim, and instead speak my mind. Earlier this week on BitChute, I made an exclusive video covering Oreo tweeting out three words concerning trans people. This tweet got so much traction, it was trending. Many trans people were underneath like, go back to making cookies, leave the politics to us. Oh, and when are you going to start donating money to trans charities and treating your workers fairly? You hardly have a good track record when it comes to human workers. Twitch, with their tweet, also trended for negative reasons. Sadly, the majority of the replies are lost to the ether because Twitch lacks the conviction to keep the tweet up and simply issue an apology by retweeting their own mistake. But oh well. So the original tweet reads as follows. March is... What is that? History Month. Join us in celebrating and supporting all the... Seriously, does anyone know what that means? Creating their own worlds, building their communities, and leading the way on Twitch. I'm just going to put something out there now because this has always sat really weirdly with me. Whenever I see things like this, cringy little videos promoting users because of a identifying factor, it always feels less genuine and more like you are parading someone like a circus act. You know, like the bearded lady, world's tallest midget. Or even worse, the French. So I won't deny when I first saw that video, I felt that they were instead being a bit dishonest with how they were promoting this particular history month. For the sake of it, the only history month I'm aware that exists was Black History Month. It was predominantly an American thing. It has now come to the UK as well. Different months of the year. I assume by extension of this holiday, We'll have different history months for different communities. Eventually, it will become very much heavily marketed, to the point where houses will be decorated in accordance with those history months. I am so excited for that. Seriously, so damn excited. The reason this tweet got trending, though, is because of that word I can't pronounce. Woo. It's the X, okay? If you could put Y there, I'd be able to say we're mine. Min. W women. But with an X, I can't say anything, can I? This isn't like Egypt. The point, I guess, is this got a lot of traction because of a separation. 
a separation that Dan Killer himself highlighted. Imagine being trans and fighting your whole life to be considered a full woman, and they instead change it to that unpronounceable word to point out that you are still trans. Now this reminded me of something from 2015. This might not be a popular thing to say, so I do apologize in advance. There was a Tumblr post going around. On it were genders, pronouns, orientations. You rolled a bunch of d20s and it would tell you your gender, your pronouns and your sexuality. I think I got Burly Diesel Dyke. And I'm not joking, I legit got that. Because it was such a stupid idea, people rolled it for a laugh. Not gonna do that again though. Current year is not as, um, edgy. Let's go with that. Back then, people were desperate to stand out, and they didn't want to be invalidated. But there were some that were a bit on the ridiculous side, even by today's standards. Many would agree now. Back then, a lot of them were. I'd had an argument on Facebook with somebody who said they were transabled, and then they went off to play squash or rugby, and I was really confused by this. I didn't understand. The point from that, though, is that people wanted to be validated and therefore not pigeonholed. And this is where the problem with the word that I can't pronounce comes from. Because by doing this, Twitch is trying to promote a mentality that trans women are just trans, which is what's caused a lot of issues. Perhaps I'm misunderstanding. It's always possible. But then there are others also arguing within this. The discussion of non-binary comes up as well, where some say you are trans non-binary and you are being invalidated as well with this word. The argument there is woman is binary. I'm not going to delve into that though because I don't want to start an argument. I also don't care enough. I really don't. I will treat everyone with absolute equal respect. That's it. There will be nothing more said on that one because honestly, I can't handle the criticism, okay? I'll block you all. <laughs> I won't block anyone, I'm just, I'm just being a dick. Since this happened, Twitch has had to put out an apology. While we originally wanted to use a word that acknowledges the shortcoming of gender binary language, after hearing directly from you, including members of the LGBTQIA community, you're missing a few letters, on Twitch, we will be using the spelling women moving forward. We want to assure you that we have and will continue to work with the LGBTQIA community. We are still learning. Our good intentions don't always equate to positive impact, but we are committed to growing from these experiences, doing better, and ensuring we are inclusive to all. Might I advise instead, you just stick to making sure your site runs properly so streamers can do their best put on good shows and enjoy themselves. Yes, you want to champion certain communities, go ahead, but try to do it in a way where you don't end up invalidating them from existing or from achieving something. I would also recommend not treating them as if they're some kind of circus animal or French person to be paraded about, as that, along with all the other stupid things you keep on doing that I keep featuring in my exhibitions of stupid stupid people reeks of bad optics and i would have thought by now with all the mistakes you keep making you'd actually care about optics hell you almost nuked your music community because you fundamentally fail but don't worry the thoughts are safe they've always been safe even when some of them full-on post nudity on their stream they're safe because they're thoughts anyway as we're done here i'd like to know what you all think I'm going to link all relevant sources down below. As a final thing, I'm going to be streaming some fishing on Twitch tonight. If I don't see you there, have a fantastic day. And thank you all for listening.